Okay, Mariah. <laughs> Mariah, just, Mariah just said that she cannot believe that we let her edit. The- <laughs> it just hit me. How could you do something like that? How could you allow that? She's like with no experience. <laughs> yeah. You got like six <laughs> years under your I'm belt surpri- now. I was saying I'm surprised they let me. <laughs> like I was the team <laughs> in control of the cuts for the podcast and I have zero experience. I know. We really put our faith and trust in you, huh? You could have backstabbed us in any way, shape or form. Like and you my, haven't yet. My resume is like babysitting. <laughs> right. Backup dancing. Panda Express. She's perfect. Right. <laughs> Right, you can turn our world upside down <laughs> if you just decide you had a bad day. Yeah, and you're like, I feel like you can now work for like anybody. Of like course editing. I can. Yes. She can work for the BBC. Please, please, <laughs> please don't leave us. <laughs> we yeah, need if you, you. Leave us. We're, we're kind of fucked. Heath and I will have to do No, I won't leave you. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Well, thank you. This is an appreciation post for you, Mariah. Thank you so much for being there for us since the beginning. If somebody could edit this together, zoom in, more music. I'll Heart emojis. It. It's like what they're doing on Broadway right now. Every like Broadway show is like giving like an applause for all the understudies and yeah. everyone, all the magic behind the scenes. One day we'll have a party for you. Hey, One help day. me help you, right? Exactly. Aww. That's so sweet. You're doing great. I'd, be, I'd be nothing without these two. I'm so. crying right now. Grab me a tissue paper. Did you have a good day? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> day one day. of the, the rest of Zane and I's new life Ooh. or next three months. Yeah, but we'll, we'll see get, how long it lasts. Yeah, we'll get into that. We, we, got, we got to give you guys a deep dive yep. of our of our week and our last week and a half Ooh, of what's been going it. on. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, let's get this fucking party started, baby. All right. It's, it's comments all, all, baby. baby. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, baby. Let's do this. Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. Mm-hmm. That's Heath. I'm Zane. I'm Matt. That's Matt. And that's Mariah. Mariah. And we're unfiltered. Yes. Yes. Nailed it. Yes. The easiest part. (laughs) All right. I'm good. I'm going to be silent. It all goes downhill from here. Yeah. Let's jump into the week. Yeah. um, I actually want to jump into this first because this is breaking news. Okay. And I feel like we have to, we have to call this out immediately. Somebody on Euphoria died. No, 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 no but not I, yet. Uh, but, not I have yet. A, but I have a feeling somebody will die. I know, me too. We do. And we'll talk Zane about it and later. I, Zane and I have our own little death pool. We're going to, after this episode, enter the Euphoria. Yeah, stay, <laughs> stay tuned. It's not inside Euphoria, it's more like outside. <laughs> Instead exactly. of an, make them think it's an ad read, but it's like, it cuts to you guys just having a moment about Euphoria. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's n- not a bad idea, Mariah. That's why you pay me the big All money. right, we're going to do that. Right. But, Heath and I just, we were actually on our live show today on Mm -hmm. Patreon and somebody told us or multiple people told us that the groundhog for groundhogs, they fucking died today. Passed away. Passed away. Well, he doesn't. Wait, today? Today. That's it. Wait, tomorrow is Groundhog Day. We know. So wait, it's like he put, it's like he did like Wait, are you sure? Are they, are they messing with us? He pulled a Betty White. (laughs) No. Milltown, a celebrity groundhog dies just before Groundhog Day. Wait, what, where's Milltown? This isn't the Punxsutawney Groundhog. What is this? Celebrity Groundhog dies shortly before his big day. I thought there's only one Groundhog for the whole thing. Okay, this is. In existence, one Groundhog. Oh, no. Hold on. This is Milltown. To to okay, this is Milltown, New Jersey. I'm I am a Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Um, Bitch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man. So okay. But, so the main one didn't die. Oh or, well. Don't discredit him. He still passed away. This yeah, is still. Yeah. We, we should still mourn. This is, this is like Jonathan Larson in like when Rent came out, how he died the night before Rent. Yeah. Like in the movie Tick Tick Boom. For the people who know, I know you guys don't know. Um, that's really <laughs> sad. <laughs> I know. I know exactly what you're that, talking that, about. That movie's a very high brow movie you guys wouldn't understand <laughs> that's what he makes it seem like uh, he played it for me for five minutes and i was like nah i can't watch this <laughs> i can't watch this it's really good i know i just i don't think i'm into plays very much or not plays sorry like musicals musical movies. i'm only into some like i loved yeah. american showman la la land the, the american the greatest, show, the greatest, show. Oh, greatest show. i loved it favorite movie <laughs> i favorite love movie. the greatest show. all time i know all the worst of that movie and the songs <laughs> okay well that's really sad but groundhog day is tomorrow but we find out about 4 30 in the morning. Are you uh, staying so, up? Yeah, what are you gonna do? I think I or are you might, gonna go to bed early I, and then wake up? I think I'm gonna just set an alarm and wake up and That's have so it. exciting. What time are you gonna wake up? Probably four in the morning. I love that you do this just for you. It's not like it's not I know, it's just like a fun little quirky holiday. I don't know. It's something fun. 
But Zoinks. They, they couldn't. Well, because the real Punxsutawney Phil, he is like Shamu. He like never dies. <laughs> like, <laughs> but do, you know, do we know how? But old they keep he is? replacing him. He's though, right? over, well over like 100, 200 years old. <laughs> so they replace him. They replace him. But they always oh. that he's never died. But they do replace his. But wife, they don't. They don't. Phyllis. They don't tell. They don't tell us when they replace <laughs> them, right? Phyllis. No, they don't. I don't think so. This is well, my heart sank, and I was like, that's kind of a leak of information because Punxsutawney Phil never dies. Yeah, because they're lying. To the people, but you know what's weird for me being this it's big a of a ground move. exactly. Yeah. This being this big of a groundhog nut, I never realized there were other like groundhogs that did the same exact the weather. Thing? Like that doesn't make sense. It shows that you're a fake fan of the actual groundhogs, well, you know, international holiday. New Jersey's right next to Pennsylvania, so maybe like it gets all the the hype yeah. and the credit. Yeah, maybe the way the. The, the seasons hit. Okay, so do y'all want to make predictions? We can make this a betting thing. Y'all want to put okay, money wait, on it? What, how do you make a prediction? Like, what's the prediction? Like, okay, if he sees his shadow, it's a late winter. If he doesn't see his, if he does not shit see his shadow, early if he spring? doesn't see his, if he's, yes, if he doesn't see his shadow, it's an early spring. I think it's going to be an early spring. I think it's going to be early spring too. I feel it. You do? It's going uh, yeah. to be a good spring this year. I, like I know it's going to be a good spring. What about you? And now, now, how early is early? End of February. It's six more weeks of winter. The phrase, but, right? But like, is it like a day early? Like a week early? Like what's considered it to to be an early well, spring? Well, based on science, this holds zero facts and weight. But it's more of like a state of mind kind of thing when they really do declare. It's just like, oh, this feels I like spring. I do declare. I think by weather science, you can tell if it's going to be a late winter and early spring, but by this, people just say it's gonna be an early spring. I I think, I'm gonna say early spring. Oh, What do you think? Early spring. What do you wanna bet? You wanna bet against it? Cause we need something to challenge I'll against. go against it. All right. And that's Wait, a 10 late- bucks, 10 bucks, 10 bucks. People comment, heat is so close minded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one to go against it. <laughs> That is so cheap. Ten bucks. Let's do a hundred. Uh, okay. All right. So okay. Well, wait. let's look up how old the groundhog is. Wait, the odds are out of our favor, and that's how much we bet. The odds are forever in your let's favor. Let's do look a up, household look bet. Up, where it... Devin, look up the oldest groundhog. That's how much we're gonna bet. Or didn't how, he, didn't he just say hundred years old? And, hundred and two like, years old. Like, I think. He think he made it up. Oh, he's a hundred and thirty-four. Okay, so hundred thirty-four. Hundred and thirty-five dollars. Okay, a hundred and thirty-five dollars. Oh, is Ooh. bet, but are you with Heath? No. Okay. Well, yeah, we're together. So if I win, what do I win? <laughs> if if you win, you win one hundred thirty-five dollars. That's good. And if I lose, that's good for us because we you can pay share it. me. Well, we we you pay wait, each are of you us not betting. I'm, I'm with you three. I'm betting. You pay you pay each of us uh, what equals one hundred thirty-five dollars. Does that make sense? You're Mr. Gambler. I thought you know. Yeah, how. I'm just done gambling. You just get. I'm clean. Liar! You're a liar, my dude. Well, <laughs> by the time this podcast comes out. We'll know the answer. We will know. And we will we will bring it up next episode. This is like somebody forcing me to bet money on roulette and Are I don't even want on to. It? Yes. Wait, how, but how do we split the odds reach. over three people? Mariah, can you just put 135 bucks in? I can't, I literally said three She just times. bought her I'm father putting, a car. I'm putting in a, the bet. A fucking truck. Oh, you're in, you're in. in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mariah actually has no more money because she's spent <laughs> all. Well, let's figure out how this divvy up works. Basically, you, y'all get 135 bucks if y'all way. are right. We get 135 bucks. No, because the odds or, are more in our favor. We'll just, we'll split the 135. There's odds? I thought you said there's more of a. Well, there's, there, no, it's a bigger chance that it's going to be a late So spring. if I lose, I pay each of you $135. No. Mariah has the same bet as She's you. on your team. I'm on oh. your team. Call it. You, pay, you pay us $135 together. Okay. We'll split it. Should we figure out this math later? I feel like these yeah. people are probably yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think I. I mean, it's it's either he gets 135 or we eat. We get 135 together. Buy our dinner. Yeah. Okay. Buy our dinner. Well, I've got lazy. Dog. We can't have lazy dog. Right. This okay. Is what we're transitioning okay. to. So we'll I figure know. It out <laughs> I'm lost. This is episode 113. <laughs> sometimes we're on the same page and sometimes we're not. We were, but we also weren't. <laughs> but you guys just said this is a uh, a new start for your lives, right? Yes. It yes. Is. What, what, Day what, one. What is the new change? Um, well, Heath and I, we are getting very chubby, um, especially in the last couple months. I think we've been just like stress eating a lot. We've been just, food's been a part of our lives. I disagree, but. It has. No, I think you both look great. My no, no, I'm says otherwise. No, but our okay. food has been a big part of our lives. I feel like recently, I right. mean, look at the fiasco we had a week and a half with the, the, the fiasco. <laughs> the fiesta. <laughs> the, it was, it was, was a party. Oh, it was the crisp, the, the crispy cream day. The, oh my God. The, the, okay, the Buffalo wild it was, wings. It was binge after binge. It was a trial. We post made six everything. food items in, in like two hours in the span of two hours. Don't look at me like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But, so like, 
Don't Heath hit and your I, low. You Heath hit- and I, yeah, Heath and I need to, you know, we need to change our lives a little bit for the better. You know, we, <laughs> yeah. it'll help our, it'll help our mental health. It'll help our physical health. And I think, you know, we just, we just need a good challenge. For the you, next few months. Do you want to place bets on this one? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good bet. That's actually not not, okay, not about so that. So what so is the challenge, the challenge and what's the commitment? So okay. it's three months long. Um, Ilya is basically going to be our trainer and give us a rundown. We're going to work out every single day. We're on a very strict diet. I think we get around like 1,600 calories a day. You have a uh, you have a chef that brings yeah. yeah so He's we, also we, like our nutritionist, our life coach. Right. Yeah, so we started a, a, a meal plan, so everything is counted, our calories, our macros. Now, uh, what about sauces and stuff? I know Zane will be like, I'm going to just put a little, <laughs> put um, a little ranch I on think, this. I think it all depends on like how many calories the sauces have. So like sriracha is fine. If you're going to have ranch, maybe just a little bit like you have we have to really measure everything out okay and i'm like, li- the only thing i'm putting in my body is what is being delivered you, 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 sriracha has zero calories though it's I, just it puts a little spice in your meals it, He's yeah not very it, good with temptation it's, it that it, that's mm. it he'll crack sriracha is a gateway sauce because as soon as you start putting <laughs> sriracha then you're like well maybe i could do barbecue yeah. no and then, yeah. you know uh, what i mean that's, I, that's I, him though oh that, is that you yeah. yeah i can control my sauces so i can because I, don't, I barely like sauces i don't really like sauces <gasps> so, sauce. so i can sauce definitely control slot. myself okay. so today was our first day february 1st we were we, we were gonna start january but my little my little Rib accident. His baby rib. Yeah. <laughs> so we wanted to wait. We want to do it together with Ilya because Ilya is going to film all this and we're doing right. this whole thing for uh, his his uh, protein powder, Zila Nutrition, mm-hmm. where he's which he's going to release probably yeah. later this Zila. year. Zila. Zila. Yeah. X-E-E-L-A. It's a protein powder. It's a vegan. It's a, has all everything you need. He's coming out with like a bunch of different like supplements. So he's got a apple cider vinegar pills. Why, why he's got a pre-workout. Cool. Why is it called Zila? It's a, it's a Russian word. It's Russian for strong, I believe. Uh, cool. I think it sounds Russian for bullshit. I'm oh, come on. It's great. I think it's a great idea. That was the first thing I could think of. Good great product. idea. That's all I got. That's all I got. That's all I got. It makes <laughs> sense for Ilya to come out with something like this because it's smart because we it's, all- It's him. It's yeah. him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It makes sense. And he loves yeah. working out and it's a part of his lifestyle and um and it makes sense that- Well, you saw John's transformation, right? Our other buddy? Yes, I saw him last night. He looked Insane. amazing. Yeah, that, Ilya. That's Ilya's his, work. Did you see his eight pack? He is shredded. He went from uh, 220 pounds and he just hit 164. Wow. And he like full on six pack looks incredible. Uh, so we're hoping to have the same results. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> is this a competition between you two in it's terms of I think numbers? they're just pushing each other. Uh, competition Me- yeah. up here. Okay. Who can just last the longest? No. no it's not it's a comp- just, no, it's, get to the goal. Our goal is to get to um, a me, 165. Right now I'm at 194. So I need to get to 165, which is... I'm gonna look like a completely different person if I if I can get through this. And yeah. he's he's 160. I'm getting out of 160. The overall goal for both of them is to make it through. Okay. Yeah. Because we have no self control. Because they both binge like they have their fix. They have their flavor yep. of the can, month for everything. Can we pull up Big Ba? Big, big, <laughs> big Ba. <laughs> do not do not no, do I'm that not, to me. I am. This is really new. Okay. <laughs> Good. So this we've both like. When's the last time you were that like weight 160? Uh, High school, maybe? No. So I moved out here at 150 pounds eight years Ooh, ago. Just kidding. I blew up <laughs> <laughs> to like 230. Okay. Then I lost it, went down to like 170. Then I got big again. And then when I was at Porter Ranch, I got down to 169. It's in. You got it. I was it's 169 in Porter Ranch. And then I got big again. Then I went down. And now I'm at 194 also. So a week and a half ago, we went to do our weigh-ins, right? Yeah. So we went all the way to Culver City. We did a whole scan. We had to lay in this machine. And Culver just, City? Yeah. We Disgusting had, we, it was a, it was a, we, They had to scan our entire body. We had to like lay straight like this for like First of all, minutes. it was so weird because like we went to this like really nice place. Like you walk in, it's this beautiful business. They've got like a reception area. We start going to the back to where like the room scanner, like we're, we're going to get this full DEXA body scan, whatever they call it. We walk in and there's a fucking van, like a big oversized Sprinter van parked in the middle of this in shop. the build in Inside? the building inside, inside the, building. the building oh, like yeah. a, like a food truck it was very strange but we found We're out like, that oh weird so we ended up doing the scan in the van okay but not in like the rooms i guess the ones in the rooms didn't work yeah. so we had to do it in this van oh, that's funny yeah. um so it was just really Interesting. Yeah. So it did a whole scan of our bodies. It showed us our percentages, uh, like how much the, the percentage of fat in our body and both yeah. of our bodies. Dude. And oh, it's kind of 
Fully. What's up? Did you do it naked? Fully yep. nude. Oh, you did. No, and like get, like a scan. Of it was your, open, it, it, it was open. Like oh, everybody we, could see everything. It was crazy. I am in the eighty to 99th percentile for my age group. I don't believe so that that's for good? one second. No, no. that no. means eighty to ninety nine percent of people are in I better shape. I didn't believe that. Oh, I don't believe. Shit. I think it's. Like I think. Lot. I think they do it by how many people went to those machines. Because how, what are they basing it off of? Right. Like what statistics? People that go there to do their body scan probably because they want to be in shape again. Yeah. So, I don't know, but basically, I have uh, fifty seven pounds of fat on my body. <gasps> I have I have fifty one I think or fifty or fifty one. I mean I got some love handles, but <laughs> when I'm on a diet, I, I've repeated this situation fifteen times. But Mal, every time I'm like on a time, Matt will come out with McDonald's at like three p.m. on a Tuesday. He's just eating. I'm like Matt. It's, it's Tuesday fair. at a three p.m. He's like, I, uh, my body a, can handle this. Okay, that's a rough Tuesday. That's not like a regular Tuesday. But yeah, yeah. I I just love when you do that. It makes me I'm laugh. Like, I'm like, you're like, hey Zane. I can digest it. <laughs> I can digest it. Well. Sorry, it must be nice. Okay, you say you say something. I forget okay, what it now is. It's so it's three months. Yeah, we know. Um, it's not really a competition. It's just to see, just to know, see if we can stick with that. it and and be strong. Okay, now mentally. What's the, what's the reward? What's the catch? What, what's, what's the reward? The what are, are we celebrating if you guys reach a certain threshold? Uh, um, I, I, the way we're going to celebrate is we're all going to go out and eat fucking. Yeah. We're oh going God. to CC's. No, we're, we're going to the Sizzler. We're going to eat. We're going to eat really bad, and we hope that you guys all come along because we, right. we, we haven't eaten this type of food in like three months. I want it to look yeah. like the heavyweights scene at the very end when they go crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah and it's yeah. all slow mo at night with the Fourth of July and like or Death Row's last meal. Yeah, I want to just go all out. Yeah, but like. Honestly, seeing John's transformation has motivated us Inspiring. so much, inspired yeah. us to want to do this because like, I cannot believe where, uh, like how far he's come with when he, wh what he looked like when he started to that. It's unbelievable. He looks completely can different. I sh can I show it? No, you can't. Oh, because that's no, coming Ilya, out. Nobody's Ilya's seen it. Right, everything. Right. Yeah. I was blown away when I saw him last night. I was like, whoa. It's incredible. Like he has little fucking abs. It's insane. Like him and Ilya took like an ad picture when we were there mm -hmm. and we couldn't believe, we couldn't believe it. It was crazy. Imagine seeing Zane and I with abs. Like, it, would, it feels it feels wrong. I think Heath and I want to we want to see this for our own eyes because we think it's it's hilarious. Outside of we want to like obviously we trying to challenge ourselves. It would look hilarious with us with with fucking six pack <laughs> rock on. It just art. doesn't make are sense. Are y'all still going to be able to drink? I'm cutting it out completely. Um, he's cutting it out. I'm not. See, I've given I, up on abs. I mean, I can like have abs, but I don't. I, I choose like it's unrealistic because like you really have to give up drinking if you really want abs. I genuinely think so. Oh, uh, yes, I agree with you. I think you do have to give up. Everyone drink. I know who has abs doesn't drink. So like, I don't know. I But I like how I feel too much like, when I drink. Um, Not Scott. Well, Scott. Scott genetics, also works out for like six hours a day. Scott's That's genetic. True. Like They've been working on that since they like hit puberty, you know? Yeah, that's true. He has been like working out. Those are like puberty bodies that they have done since day one. Like, I wish I we know. had that. Eh, I don't know. Like I don't being a trust fund baby. Imagine, imagine we do this whole thing. We act like it's just diet and exercise, but secretly we're doing steroids this entire time. <laughs> oh, it's I'm me and you poking that. each other in the butt, like <laughs> injecting tea. My turn. <laughs> it's your turn. I would, like, if you, like, remember on like that MTV show Made where the guy gets like calf calf implants what yeah you can I have to get like like Zane, we should do halves that. You can do no, that. You're good. that would be the only implant if someone was like you have to get implants now what would you get calf. i would get calf implants no, and i wouldn't calves tell right now i'm but working on my dad calves. show the camera your calves no don't put me on blast no more hamburger helper we're gonna do this thing man when did the fuck have we been eating hamburger <laughs> oh helper? we had hamburger helper last week <laughs> Where we did it for and our, we put it on a burger. We did it for our live cooking show on Patreon. With bacon. <laughs> Bro, it was, I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty fucking disgusting. We, no, that shit was banging. Was, I, I thought, like, I was hiding it for the webcam because we were live because that shit was fucking He cleared horrendous. his plate. I cleared it because I was starving and there was nothing else to eat and I wasn't gonna cook anything I else. I thought it was delicious. Because because that was that's childhood. That's nostalgic you're right, for you. You're right, you're right. That was my first time ever eating hamburger I grew up helper. on Hamburger Helper. Well, I ate that in college all the time. That's we, crazy we, that you guys we, ate that like uh, regularly. It's what you do. a little bowl, on, on make purpose. some hamburger helper. But <laughs> knowing, knowing what that is and what that makes you feel after, it's so because like eating a pizza hey, baby, doesn't even make you feel like that. When you're on a budget and you could feed a family of like four for that two was a bucks, lot of food. It was 
You know what's weird? Zane, you are like one person I know who like, after you eat something, you're like, I don't feel good. Like, I don't like how that made me feel. That's Heath too. That's why That's I said, we if eat you shit. remember that things don't make you feel good, like if I remember that doesn't make me feel good after, I don't do it. That's why I don't drink a lot. This is this is why we have a problem with our weight because I don't care what I feel like care. after. Yeah. It's, yeah. That, it's, long, it's that, that initial, three minutes. Yeah. It's the three minutes of like pure bliss mm-hmm. to where I'm like, you know what? Just, I'll deal uh, with the diarrhea for a week. Yeah. Like uh-huh. the second Don't care. something is negative towards my body, I'm like, nope, never again. It's never. like with drinking. Like people be like, isn't the hangover so much worse than the high of being drunk? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. But in the moment, you feel amazing. You feel confident. You feel strong, invincible. You, you know the two sisters on that TLC? The Thousand Pound Sisters? Yes. Oh, it seems like one of them has been doing pretty well. And then oh, the, really? other, the other one has like, Given up, right? I don't know. I, yes, I don't keep yeah. up with it, but it's funny. The same show we're having, the, um, people uh, in the chat brought up the Thousand Pound Sisters, and we're talking about that too. <sighs> Try being my size, Amy. <laughs> you don't, don't know how it, it is. is. Look at that cloud. It looks like it's chicken wing. <laughs> and then they crash, dude, or like something happens in the car where they both fucking jolt. No, I remember it one of the girls was like, the, a person was interviewing, so what do you do? Like social media, we influencers. <laughs> <laughs> we influencers. Influencers. She said influencers. Um, yeah, I was worried about those. The sisters hope they're doing well. Anything interesting happened today? <laughs> oh, oh, real quick while we were while we were on the topic, <laughs> I wanted to say real quick. Uh, this was really bizarre. So everybody out there, be careful. We were in the car yesterday, just driving. I'm playing on my phone, kind of like scrolling around, just you know, going through my apps and stuff. And then all of a sudden, Zane goes, "Did you just airdrop me this photo?" And it was a it was a photo of me mirror selfie, like my my before picture. And I'm like in my underwear, and he's like, "Did you just airdrop this to me?" And I'm like, "What?" It was and a v- very it unsettling picture of, of recently of that you had taken of yourself. Yes, yeah. I didn't send it. I didn't airdrop it. I wasn't even in my photos. And it automatically just airdropped him pictures. Wait, how did a photo you take that wasn't in your photos? No, it, he it, took it. It was he in my it. photo. In okay. his phone. But I wasn't scrolling through my phone. We were like, it was it was like we were in the car and then he it just airdropped in my phone. I was like, did you just airdrop me something? He's like, no. I was like, Heath, look. And then he showed me the picture of me in my underwear and I was like, oh my God. It was like, it was taking like a before picture, but it's crazy that like, does somebody have it? No, no, no. no. I'm it saying was like, like a glitch uh, in the phone. Like it, it's scary that it just yeah, took it, any photo from his album from and just phone. sent it to somebody. Oh my god. Pretty goodness. crazy. Yeah. Uh, has that happened to you guys? Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely am curious. <laughs> like, yeah. But like that's that that kind of freaks me yeah. out. Yeah. I was really but, worried for you. They're like, Heath, you better delete. <laughs> and then I was thinking about everybody else in the car. I was like, did everybody just get this? <laughs> like it's a new team we just like started working with. <laughs> Hi, I'm Heath. How's it going? <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, something oh very God. exciting happening uh, yesterday. We are, oh, I don't think we've announced this. We've talked no. about it a lot on the Patreon though, but we are, oh, this is like, this is like big news. And I feel yeah. like we're just coming, we're coming in right at it. Can I, wait, oh, can I ask another question sure. about the Bluetooth? Okay. Like what degree of like the humiliation, like would it have to be where you would like view Heath differently? There, I mean, there's nothing that would have been airdropped to me that I would have been, I would okay. have looked at Heath and been like, I don't fuck with you anymore get the fuck out of the car yeah. it, could, it could have been any like no i'm i wasn't it wasn't a picture it wasn't it was the it was the it's fact a, that something a, airdropped from his phone into my phone oh. that's what that's what i was surprised about I'm like oh my god this your phone could do this at any point <laughs> to anybody at the airport it's you're just just him in his underwear just going to all so these like people, the airport. people that seems like a black mirror thing where yeah, it's just like sending yeah. To everybody. you know how in movies where <laughs> there's like a mass text that gets sent out to everybody in school mm-hmm. how unrealistic is that oh yeah that trope where it's like oh my god oh, yeah. Yeah. i sent the text but to it every- went to the whole school. <laughs> this is bullshit. And then it, it cuts to everybody's phones like <laughs> at the same time. And all the sound is on. Yeah, because everybody has on. each other's numbers. <laughs> Fuck and it. there's one giant massive group text. Like it's group like chat. a girl, the popular girl picking her nose. Oh, and then they're walking no. through the, and then they're walking through the hall and everyone's just like looking at that. <gasps> yes. That's I love Give me it. a break. Be how, realistic about it. How do their phones not get taken away? <laughs> okay, so back to what we were talking about. Sorry, I kind of wanted to. Go oh, you're good. Oh, no, no. We ha- no. Heath and I actually have really big news, and we have yeah. not 
talked about it. We haven't even given a hint. Sorry. Put fireworks. Put fireworks. <laughs> uh, Jared, put fireworks. Jared, don't do anything you don't uh, want to uh, do. And sound light. effects and applauses and shit to make this part sound exciting when we announce what we're doing. All right, 10 and we're live. Imagine we get a hook. <laughs> 10 and we're live. There's I'm just down. <laughs> okay, so you know how on this channel we post podcasts every week. Mm -hmm. And I know in the, in the past we have tried to post vlogs. Like Random on, like here off videos. Yeah, here and there like on Thursdays, but we just stopped. We we weren't feeling it, so we just stopped and we just stuck to the podcast every week. But Heath and I, for the past like few months, we've been trying to find a team. We've been trying to find anybody to help us make more content. And just and we, we want to do like we want to do things out of our like comfort zone. We want right. like, and we want we want something to be we want yeah. something to be proud of. Obviously, like the show is up. Exactly. Wow. 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 Exactly. Um, so we wanted something to be proud of. Like our vlogs when we look back, we're like, oh, you know, they were they were funny at the time, but it's not something that we'd be like, hey guys, check out my new vlog. Or yeah. Whatever it is. Um, but I don't even want to hype it up that much. It's just no, but like different. just a higher production to yeah. elevate ourselves and really start doing stuff that we're proud of and challenge ourselves, get us out of our comfort zone. So we hired a team. We filmed our first video yesterday, yeah. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna record a couple of them just so we have like a like a back catalog, and then release it so we can do it every single week. Would be a new episode. It's still um, the same energy. It's still the same like yeah momentum almost, but just other people are filming it. We're just, we're not filming it ourselves because yeah. Heath and I. It can be so hard to film ourselves when we're doing shit. So we and, and thinking, it captures it, it captures both of us now. So it's not so much like a exactly, uh, and we, we we can really have fun. And we want to have two camera guys, mm -hmm. so they capture everything that Heath and I are doing. Because it's gonna it's be really like hard the to office. capture shit. It, like the office. No, no, it's definitely better camera zone. We're gonna try that out. And then we also have another show that we're gonna be coming out with. We're gonna be recording here relatively yeah. soon. We we don't want to we don't want to give too much detail on it because yeah. we don't because we don't know if it's gonna if it's gonna happen or not. But oh, it's gonna wanna, happen. We just want to we're letting you know that we are working on it and we're really excited about it. So we're putting out like a ton of more content on this yeah. channel because we really want to build this channel out, have more shit on here. Mm -hmm. And and I know you guys have been asking for it for a really long time. And Heath and I have just been like and honestly in our bubble just. It feels really good. It. We're excited to get back into it. Yeah. Um, for everybody who doesn't know, we have a Patreon where we started vlogging on there. Um, and that really got us like jazzed up and motivated and found our love again for filming vlogs and being, yeah. you know, creative in videos. That's so yeah. exciting. And, yeah. yeah, we're we're pumped on it. And don't get us wrong, we do want to, we still we do still want to film the style of us holding the camera because we were doing that for we're the Patreon vlogs and yeah. we did enjoy that a lot yeah. again. And like watching the final product, like the three of us were like editing it. We're just like, wow, these are really funny. Yeah. You guys were, just, you needed that realization. Like, oh, we have something good. We together. still got it. Yeah. 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 So for the few of our Patreon subscribers that like were on there and just motivating us, supporting us and just like- Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you so much. It really made us fall in love with oh, vlogging again. And we still do have the Patreon up. Everything is now $5. There's only yes. one tier. If you do want to join, we're, we post uh, a $5. bonus. $5. Yeah, we, $5. Every it's only one tier. We wanted every to steal, feel. Right? And everybody's on. Yeah. Yeah. So get, I don't have to be jealous about my friend who's paying more and they're getting exactly. more access. We can all be in it together. Yes. Yeah, so we exactly. combined the best of all the tiers that we had up, mixed it into one. So we're doing the high episodes. We uh, have our live Q&A shows that we do. We have a Discord where we can all chat and hang out. And the early access episodes where you get this episode yep. a couple days earlier. Five dollars a month. Five dollars a month. Yep. Now, now how, much, how much is that a day? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I'm not trying to sell the shit out. Now that's like... <laughs> I mean that's a like le that is well, less than a like, that is less than a nickel a day. It's like somewhere ten, yeah, around there. it's somewhere around there. But yeah, we're really excited. Matt yeah. is on those every single high episode that we do. Yep. So fun. And they're, they're really, really funny. Yeah, we, I can't believe you guys exclude me from those episodes. Well, Mariah, should we tell them what we've been working on? <laughs> we to? have been working on this new what, what's show. That, what's that? Let's say no, it's called it's called the Pop and the Lock and, and Drop, drop it. it. And we go Where we on air new merch we every day. And we when we airdrop. Air oh, you guys are making a channel. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh my god, that's amazing. You know, it's, uh, it's we've so been it's, <laughs> we've been waiting. <laughs> but yeah, guys, the back Patreon, us. everything. And by the way, when you subscribe, you'll get all the content. Yeah, that backlog, we already everything. all the backlog. So everything that was in the ten dollars tier, twenty dollars tier, you get everything now oh. for five dollars. So it's like OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you get access to everything. Because except I except you don't see. Booty, juicy, and fruities on there. Sometimes. <laughs> what did you say about fruities? <laughs> booty, juicy, fruities. <laughs> I want to say a booty dig, but I didn't, I, I didn't want to. But juicy. I was trying. I'm trying to be clean. Okay. So this transformation. The part of this is that I want to like no stop cussing. cussing. No cussing. Exactly. Yeah. Fuck you that know, shit. cussing is ten calories. <laughs>
cussing? Every time you cuss, it's 10 calories. Oh, get the... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, get the... F- 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 <laughs> you see his cheeks <laughs> <laughs> So stupid. Uh, but yeah, make sure to check it out. Wow, we're gonna leave I'll believe uh, anything. But yeah, that's crazy. We're gonna leave a link below so you can uh, check out the Patreon should we, page. Should we talk about what we did? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. This might not be our first vlog, but we're we're doing a lot of backlog, and then we're yeah. gonna, we're gonna post it accordingly to what we feel like we should post mm-hmm. for a second and third. But Heath surprised me to uh, he like woke me up. Fucking set the alarm off. By the way. Oh yeah. Sorry about that. Set the alarm off, and then threw a helmet at my head while I was sleeping. <laughs> it, I had to get you up somehow. Awoken me from my slumber. And then surprised me that we were going to the King of the Hammers event. And might you ask what the King of the Hammers event is? What is, is it? Is it? Is it that competition that you see like on TikTok where the guys are like <laughs> they hammer it and they're like, "Yeah, Dale!" And then they like have a knife and they're like cutting the I, rope. I love watching those. They and then they saw a, a log of wood as fast as they can. Wait, yeah. are you like, talking about what we saw? At, in Alaska? Oh, no, like that's a just lumber- like a, that's a lumberjack show. Oh, okay. <laughs> but similar, yeah, similar, but like more low Same key, vibe, like a back, yeah. like a backyard lumberjack. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Um, so it it's it was called King of the Hammers. It was in Hammer Town. If you don't Where's know where that, it's just past Pioneer Town. <gasps> Pretty cool. Yeah, it's like uh, two, two and a half hours away. Interesting area. Yeah, very uh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's cool though. Uh, but basically it was an off-roading competition. They've got like trophy trucks and then they also have UTVs that are doing rock climbing. UTVs? Like a side-by-side. Oh. You know those, you know those cars that go like up a, like, like a giant can-am? rock? Yes, yes. Insane. So they're rock climbing in these things. And we ended up meeting up with uh, Brian, Brian Deegan, Deegan. Uh, the Deegan family, and they took us out in their UTVs. I did not know these things could handle what they do. It is crazy how if fast they zo- go and if- jump over shit. Like it literally, it, it blows my mind what these things are capable if of. If there is a zombie apocalypse, you want to be in this car because oh, you'll be yeah. able to withstand any, you could, you could drive up a fucking mountain. And you'll be fine. It's crazy what these what these cars can do. Wow. Uh, but, they do but these ones are like souped up and he races in them. So he was in the competition, um, but he took us out for rides in it. When I tell you absolutely, like I love this type of shit, but it was terrifying. So I could only imagine what Zane was going through because like, I know he doesn't really like that type of stuff. It, it, so I wanted to like, you know, Get him out of his comfort zone. These ATVs were going 85 to 90 miles an hour. Hell no. And dude, no, and fast. No, dude they're going you're going so fast where it's oh you're almost hovering. And the dirt, the dirt is it's like it's not like a straight fucking road. It's like there's a hit like they're running over trees and shit. It's fucking insane. But Heath and we, I did this. We came down on one and we slammed so hard on a rock, it broke the front right axle. And then that wheel just went out. So then we're driving three wheel drive with it, and it's still. Oh, well, let's not spoil. What, like, oh yeah, all there's all this stuff in the video. I don't even, well, no, some of this stuff actually we it's not get, it's, uh, we didn't catch it in the video, so I don't think oh, you'll even see okay. that. And then and then we did a jump. Bro, we flew. They seem so heavy. Crazy air, and when we slammed the whole like. You'll see, you'll see. Uh, but it was really fun. So that was just the first one we've done so far. But we have a bunch of stuff lined up that we're getting ready to do here in the next yeah. couple of weeks. So you're we're basically com- com- not even stepping out of your comfort zone with content, with like the video itself, filming, but also with the activities yeah. that you're doing. Yeah, yeah right? we're like we're like Heath and I we're we're like a completely <laughs> stop. We're we're we're, we're, right. we're we're a completely open book right now. We like whatever comes to us, we're just gonna do. Yeah, and we have a section in the uh, the Patreon if you guys want to comment. And you know, recommend anything you yeah. want to see us do. Also, you guys too, because we'll be probably oh yeah be in the posting in the next well. like month or so. Like we're gonna film all these videos. So if you guys have anything that you want to see that's like outrageous or just literally anything, even so simple too, just let us know and we'll make it happen. Because we have a really good team that like they can find the best place to do these things and we just get it done. Yep. And it's it, it feels so good that Heath and I can like be able to just be ourselves and not have to worry about like production and post production and just like just actually enjoy it and Give be you ourselves. Guys yeah, much more content. What guys? What? No, that's exciting. The peanut gallery over there. Matt's yeah. being, this is big Matt's for us, be, all right? Matt's so you say so goofy mood today. We're not gonna be in the band. We're not gonna be the band. <laughs> can I be the band? No, actually, instead? we would love for you guys to come this weekend wherever we're going, but we're waiting on confirmation for the two of you. Yeah. Should we tell them now what it is? No. It's NASCAR, the NASCAR event this oh, weekend. Have yeah. you seen what they're doing? I it is in it's, LA. Where in LA, the USC Coliseum. It is the first time this has ever been done. They emptied in the, the front, They emptied the whole field, and it's a track. 
So they're driving around. It's is super, it big enough? Oh, is it for super that? small? It's not. That's it's why it's not. really intense. Oh my god! It's gonna god. be crazy. Is somebody gonna die? <laughs> I <laughs> hope not. Well, we're gonna be there to find out. Well, I don't. It's the. <laughs> so Saturday, hopefully, we get to ride in the cars what? at the stadium with a with one of the drivers. Yep. And then Sunday, we get to go to the event. Are you gonna be able to handle that, Zane? No. Zane, <laughs> Zane <laughs> no, I'm gonna you're freak good. the fuck out. You're you don't think twice about like self danger like when you're just walking around but when it comes to transportation like planes yeah. cars you are terrified it's yeah. so it's like I think it's cuz it's it's out of your control yes yeah like yeah. your life isn't somebody else even when someone's right. driving fast on the highway i i go in full panic mode i get it's like it's worse than when i'm on a flight yeah it's just i get, i i just feel like i'm going to die yeah. it's not worth it for me yeah. i'm just like drive me off to this i'll walk i'll <laughs> rather walk there <laughs> than be in like a fast car I don't know. I feel like most people can handle that. What? Like being in like a fast car oh, or like an airplane not. or. No. It's you got a fast car. car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a fat ass. That's it's insane when he hears that song. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a lot of exciting things. We're so fucking excited. Mm -hmm. And thank, thank God it's finally happening. We've been waiting so yeah. long for this. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this episode, Movement. Valentine's Day is already around the corner and we know finding the right gift can be very stressful. That's why our friends over at Movement Watches have already done the hard work for you with a huge site-wide sale. That's right. Movement is a Valentine's Day favorite with timeless watches, 18 karat fine jewelry pieces, and special edition styles like rare ceramic watches and bracelets. Bracelets. You can save on these gifts right now. Just choose a watch and a matching accessory and get an immediate 20% off your order. Plus free shipping and free return always, baby. Enjoy a stress-free Valentine's Day by curating the perfect watch and accessory gift for a special discount. All in one, one and done, gifting made easy. Better than chocolates, better than flowers. These are the gifts that last and they can be worn every day, baby. Look at this. Honestly, I love these watches because they look like they're thousands of dollars. I know. But they're they totally good. affordable. And I like how like sleek and modern they look too. Yeah, they're very minimal, um, but they do have some designs that, you know, get a little bit more extravagant. Yeah. Uh, I just like the clean look. It just, it just works, baby. The glasses are stylish too. I got the black one and it looks just clean and i don't normally wear watches but i'm wearing this watch spice up your outfit spice up your time i don't think that's a saying <laughs> it's not <laughs> tell time in an extravagant way like they say time is money so save your money <laughs> <laughs> so shop 20 percent off today with free shipping and free returns by going to movement.com slash unfiltered again go to mvmt.com slash unfiltered for your most stress-free valentine's day gifting yet that's movement baby because style shouldn't break the bank and it's time to join the movement baby we're all there we're waiting for you thank you movement for sponsoring this podcast very good we have a game right oh, oh we do oh, it's not we... a game it's a segment it's a segment oh, and, that's and, right. And a little a bit of a throwback to our very, very first episode, but this is kind of a newer take. So if you can ever remember the very first episode of Unfiltered, we did just uh, Florida news, crazy news that happened yes. in Florida. Oh, we missed these. This is one of my favorite segments. Now, this is a, a fake news um, in Florida or not fake news. You have to, we oh. have a handful of headlines that you have to determine if it It's happened, like two truths and a, a lie. If, yes, in a way, but I'm just going to tell you just one. We can all react to it. Okay. Ooh, go, very I good, will, Devin. Um, tell you um, if it is real or fake. Okay, okay, so a Florida woman passes out and pukes at her wedding. Then her nephew poops on her dress. Is this <gasps> real or fake? That, that sounds fake. The nephew could be a toddler. Yeah. Oh, that could be. But yeah, you're right. I can't imagine. It's a weird. Headline. Like, why would you just go up and poop? Even if it's like, you have to like try to poop on the dress. I'm going to go fake on that. I'm going to go fake oh, on that too. I think it's fake too, because also who would, who would write that article that wasn't at the wedding? Like unless a writer was at that wedding, how would they know? Very good, Mariah. Good take. <laughs> it would be wedding goer poops on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Defecates. <laughs> well, um, it is real. Shot no up. way. I knew it. <laughs> uh, Holly Holly Kalinda posed for pictures with her groom Jackson Darnell, who was awestruck when he saw his bride for the first time. But <laughs> once, but once they got to the I do's, Holly started to sway and then passed I do out. Do's. Fortunately, her <laughs> <Bubba>. I do do. <laughs> I bet you do. I bet you do. Very good. 
But once they got to the I do's. <laughs> you guys are bad. Story. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, instead of a tomato, you're throwing a promoter cup. Tomato, tomato, tomato. 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 The best coffee in the world. Thank you very much. Okay, that's right. All right. Uh, okay, Florida man tries to jump off second floor Pensacola Mall and then urinates on a 74 year old woman. That's okay. true. That's, that's some that's shit way. I can see. It's like the same vibe. He jumps off a two story building, you said? And then poops on Wait. it. <laughs> Wait, if he's jumping off a two story building, he's he's kind of fucked. He could be a uh, parkour person. If you do the tuck and roll, you. you you can get yeah, four stories, good. five stories. But Matt, you're not parkour Matt, if, you're pissing, the, if you're pissing on a, another again. lady. Read it again. Florida man tries to jump off second floor Pensacola Mall, then urinates on a oh, 70. Tries tries. I'm seeing True. somebody trying to stop, which would be that person. Hey, don't jump off there. You don't need, you, you, you got more to live for. Type hey, deal. get off me. And then he goes, shut up, bitch, and pees on her. Uh, well, why does she have to be a bitch? I'm you just, I'm putting myself in his shoes. Is that what you would say? If I was, if I was about to jump off a two story building and I'm, he's probably, you know, whacked out. Uh, that's probably the, the verbiage I would have used. I call. I, I got called a bitch yesterday by a man. So <laughs> true. I think it's well, just as, as, people as, are going to think it's me. No, it uh, was, all right, I'll tell the story after. It, it was me. You happy please, Zane. Please tell that story. It's so good. It's a good right, story. Right, right, right. It's a good story. So is it real? Or is it fake? It's it, real. I think real. it's real. It's fake. Uh, <laughs> all right, the segment's done. Uh, <laughs> Mariah, talk about this guy who called you a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go next. All right, one. Florida next. man charged battering a. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> Florida man charged battering woman with ramen noodles after arguing over a dog in their bed. That's true. True. Over a dog in their bed. That's what it's. It's the little twists at the end that get true. And I'm like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm digging in Devin's brain too because he's coming up with the fake ones. <laughs> so I'm just oh, like, I'm, you know I'm that, like, yeah. I'm, I'm just thinking, I'm it's thinking true. like him. Yeah. The dog in the bed detail is is it's too, it's too yeah. Out Devin, there Devin would have been yeah. a little bit more specific with that, but he was. It's wasn't. gonna be true. True. It's true. It's true. Yeah. I knew oh it. my god. Um, Florida man arrested for trying to get an alligator drunk. Oh, that's true. That's true. That is true. Oh, That's good. so true. That's something shit Heath and I would do. So yo, 100% you think, true. Yo, you think you could give it a beer? I don't know. I was trying. You know we would do that 100%. shit. Is that like, would that be fucked up if we like vlogged that? Yeah. You sure? Animal in danger. I don't think people like fuck with alligators though. Like, I feel like, I feel like people from Florida would try to cancel us, but like everybody hates Florida. You want to try to get an alligator drunk? No, no. Look, I'm, I'm, not, saying, I'm not saying, I'm not saying I would, animal. I'm not saying I would get a, I'm not saying we would, but I'm saying if Heath and I were to do that <laughs> when back in our days when we like didn't give a fuck you know and we did that i'm not saying we would but if we did do that i feel like we wouldn't be too um Off punished <laughs> well because the thing is yeah. is that these guys did do it and after the video went viral on social mm. media the risk the arrest came in response to a complaint from the For florida fish and wildlife conservation Ooh. commission oh. how much how, how many beers do you think you would need to give an alligator for it to actually start buzzing? i think a lot it's a, a lot. big it's a, a, like like half a, a keg. couple hundred yeah half a keg i almost got arrested from florida fish and wildlife you did yeah Oh. They thought I caught a gator. How'd they what? think you caught they 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 a Did you yeah. post a YouTube video like, no. I caught a gator? <laughs> <laughs> the gator's like, like photoshopped. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was out fishing just in the Everglades, minding my own damn business. I mean, um, normal. Uh, so we're just out there hanging out fishing, and we rented one of the boats. You could just rent like a John boat, um, and we're bringing it in. And as soon as we're pulling it back up to return it, it's like getting like close to sunset. Uh, there's all the fish and wildlife trucks pulled up waiting for us to dock it. Like Heath, I've never heard this story. It was dude, so scary. They're all pulled up, lined up, sitting what do there. You do? They're they're all like waiting for us uh -huh. to pull up. We dock <laughs> it. And you know, it was kind of like a fishing booze cruise. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it's, but bring, it's always a fishing booze cruise though. Yeah. Like it's a, you're never going on so, that thing. So and one, not I'm freaking out because we had beers. You know what yeah. I mean? So I'm like, no. I'm gonna get a fucking BUI and Oh no. They they go Where's the alligator? And I'm like, what? They're like, we got calls that you're out there uh, harming alligators and catching alligators. And I'm like, what are you talking about? They're like, multiple calls about you guys out there catching alligators. And I was like, we didn't do anything like that. And I was like, 
First of all, I'm fucking terrified. I would never catch one. And you would see it. It'd be bigger than the fucking boat we're in. Right. And they harassed <gasps> us and basically gave us, uh, well, we didn't have our fishing license. Um, so we ended up getting fined for that. And How much? Do you remember? I think it was quite a bit. Like a few hundred? Wait, there's like, even if they have no proof, they could still just. Well, we didn't have the license, so they got us with that. Oh, but they, okay. were, they were ready to arrest us or whatever for fucking with gators. They Obviously they saw somebody else doing this. Right. That's the thing. Right. That, that's why I'm like, how the, how the hell can they just put that on you guys? Yeah. Obviously oh, somebody man. else was doing that. Cause I don't know. It could have been the boat maybe that was going to be coming in after us, but were one of you swimming in there. I know we've jumped in there before no, in the water. Not that day. I can't believe we used to jump in that water. Swimming in gator water. We would swim in gator water. out, out, out in the Everglades, jumping in. Oh, no. I would never that's do that now. That's why your immune system. <laughs> Very yep, good. Yep. Come again. <laughs> Our what? <laughs> that's why your immune your system immune is so strong. <laughs> As I've gotten older, I've gotten terrified of everything. I it was crazy. I used to jump off the bridge, you know, by my house, all the canals. Yeah. And then I heard a story about a kid who jumped off and he went, he went into the water and got stuck in the muck at the <gasps> bottom. He like jumped <gasps> in heart just and it's, sunk. his, his oh, legs no. got stuck like almost up to his waist and he couldn't get out. Wait, Absolutely that's not. insane. That That's like final destination shit. Like, I feel like that would never happen because that shit is like thick down there. And if, I know, but like, we, I mean, like, I've, we've both felt the mud down there. There's yeah. no way you get stuck you, in if that. If you pencil dive and yeah. you're jumping from a far bridge, I'm, it was, Yeah. if you're going that fast and your legs are super straight. <laughs> how old? How old? No, I don't me. know. He had to have been a kid. Probably. There's no way. That's crazy. Florida woman arrested after throwing pineapples at cars off a highway overpass. Oh, woman God. claimed the drivers needed to be refreshed. No, that's stupid. That's not true. The thing is that a reporter wouldn't say that after because they wouldn't make a joke about that situation. They would just end it with that. You have pineapples in Florida? We, I mean, you not, buy from a grocery not store. Not naturally growing. Right. If like if it was mangoes. If it was mango, right. Or do you have avocados or is that California? Uh -uh. All right. If it was like mangoes, yeah. I think pineapples look Wait, far oh, the reporters and they're, and they're expensive. I don't see anybody throwing like if you're that $10 yeah. pineapples. The over. reporter said that the lady said that they needed to be refreshed. Yeah. Woman claimed the drivers needed to be refreshed. I'm calling shenanigans. That's no, false. No woman would do that by herself if she wasn't crazy. And is she going to go to a store and buy all those pineapples for that? No. I'm no going to say right. it's a lot of money on pineapples. That's a lot of money. There's no way that the reporter would have caught that lady after that incident, you know what I mean? It could have just been like a quote that she said to the police. Like it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean that. <laughs> it doesn't say right. <laughs> so he wrote false. it. Yeah, false. false. It's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Seven, you should have shut your mouth. <laughs> it was, it was the, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was the claim they needed to be refreshed. That's all Devin, come on. <laughs> Devin. <laughs> Devin, I just imagine. <laughs> and they needed to be. <laughs> oh, Devin. Yeah, I was so proud say? of that one. What'd you say when Heath was talking? I was so proud. I, What'd you say? What, did, what do you, you mean? You said one word I knew was bullshit. I was like, it doesn't was mean like, it needs to be right. said to the reporter. Like, right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I read right through. Right. People. Devin, you almost had me. Wait, a Florida man arrested after slapping an elderly Salvation Army bell ringer in the head. Wait, no, what's a, I what's hope a bell not. ringer? You know those people during they wait the holidays? Outside. The they donation. The oh, no. Is that in the head? I hope not, but probably true. Yeah, that sounds true. It's true. Oh. I'm going to say, Devin, you have a sixth sense. Sixth sense. Oh, Mariah, Mar it just ruined Mariah's hey, entire a week. A, uh, <laughs> Mariah, Mariah's just. I'm calling my mother after this. I don't know what to do. A Florida couple faces child endangerment charges after allowing son to raise bear he found in the backyard. Read that, say that again. Florida couple faces child endangerment charges after allowing their son to raise a bear cub he found in the backyard. That's there's cool. no there's no bears in Florida. Oh really? I don't think so. Yeah. Oh no, there is. I forget. I Ocala. think that's true. I was thinking. I was. I'm thinking for Lauderdale. I'm like, there's no bears there. Um, I'm, that's I'm not, yeah. Now I, that's I true. just I'm. I keep playing into Devin. I keep thinking like I should have never said that. I literally I fucked up everything. I fucked up like the the visuals for everything. The thing is, I can see some Florida kid being like, no, this is my bear now. Yeah. True. It's fake. <laughs> you said it's fate? It's fake. Oh. It's Zane, fake. what else would he be saying? <laughs> it's fake. <laughs> So, uh, what, so it what is. is it? It's fate. It's fate. It's fate. So it's true. I'm sorry, <laughs> fate. I fucking knew it. Wow, that was good. I liked that. Very good. I guys. needed that. All right, Bubba. Now tell your story. Who's this? Nasty man. Oh yeah, I was. After yeah, Mariah. Uh, Mariah almost. She almost died today. <laughs> we just needed a thumbnail. Okay. So yesterday I went to the cafe to get some breakfast, 
and um, by the cafe, there's this cul-de-sac, this dead end. Mm -hmm. So I went to see if there was a parking spot there. So I pulled up to it and there was no parking. So I went to turn around. And as I was turning around, this woman was pulling out of her spot. I was like, perfect. So I wanted to claim it right away. So I pulled into it. I was parked backwards on the curb. Was there, so there, uh, was there anybody else there when you made this like No, turn? but it's okay. right by an intersection and cars were turning. So I didn't want to be in anybody's way. Oh. So they were turning down. So I let a car pass and I was waiting for another car to pass. So he was coming through and I'm sitting there backwards and we're nose to nose and he sits there and doesn't move. So I signal him and I say, oh, you can go. I'm going to go around. I was like, I need to turn around. Yeah. Like clearly fix myself. It was yeah. obvious. So I was like, oh no, go ahead, go ahead. And he sits there and he's hold two hands on the wheel, just staring at me. And I was like, you're good. And I rolled down my window. I'm waving. I'm like, go ahead. You're good. Like I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm here, like whatever. And he's staring at me for a good 45 seconds, which is a long time. If yeah, you think about is. it, somebody's staring at you. And I was like, what the hell is going on? So I finagle my way around him. I was like, all right, whatever. So I go around him. He keeps driving. He pulls into the alleyway. I turn around. I park correctly. Yeah. I get into um, the shop. I order my food and I order. I turn around and who's behind me crossing his arms is the guy, the same guy. And he's just staring at me. So I pay. I turn around to walk and he steps aside. And as I'm walking um, through the, the gap right here, he goes like this to my face. So nasty. Waves his hand in my face like a hundred times like this. How old is this guy? He was probably 50, but he was my height. I wasn't scared. Yeah. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> nobody I know you like the tuss. Tuss. I know how you, you cafe uh, go. Uh, oh, let's go, baby. And so he does that, but doesn't say a word. He just does this in my face. And the people waiting for their drinks were standing there and they were like, what the hell was that? And that's what I said to him. I was like, what the hell was that? And the workers were all looking like, do you know? And I was like, I've never seen him before in my life. <laughs> yeah, all right. I've never <laughs> seen this man in my life. <laughs> I've never seen this man in my life. And he does this. And I was like, what the hell was that? So I'm standing waiting for and my drink. And he didn't drink. say anything after you he said that. He didn't say anything. I wish I paid attention more when he was ordering because I also couldn't hear him order. So I was like, what the hell? So I'm standing there and we're all kind of laughing because he didn't do anything. I was just like, what? what? Like, that was so weird. We're all talking about this man right there. And he goes to wait for his drink right over my shoulder like this. And I was with my friend, so she grabs her pepper spray. <laughs> <laughs> As she should. And he's standing like this, just staring, but like just dead, like right nothing behind Was it like a, like a mean stare, like a you nasty, like? But there was no snarl. It was just like nothing was going on. I'm gonna murder you. It, it was, yeah, it minutes. felt yeah. like that. I turn around, I kind of like give him a look and then he goes outside. I was like, all right, he left. So he goes outside, but he goes, picks out a table right across from my car. Yeah. And he's just facing the car. Arms what crossed again. Hell? I was like, what is going on? Mm -mm. We get our drinks, we go outside. And I was like, he's gonna say something obviously. And we walk out, he doesn't say anything, but he just, now he has his arm, his hands on the chair like this. And he's just watching us get in the car. So we get in the car, we lock the doors. I turn around and he's just, following like this and I get to the light and I look back at my rear view and he starts going like this. What the? Fuck? And I was like, what is that signal? First of all, second of all, and then it clicks. I was like, this is bitch in sign language. Oh, yeah, like bitch. So he was dead. I don't know. Cause he didn't speak. He only went like this to me. And then he went like this, which is bitch. He was probably you got yeah. so I signed back and I went <laughs> <laughs> my mama. <laughs> I didn't do that. What the fuck? I don't know what happened. I didn't and anything. you didn't hear him say a word the whole time. Didn't yeah, that's bitch. Say, oh, this is bitch. That's that's bitch like this. It's a B. You make a B by yeah. your mouth. Or do you think you were calling him a bitch when you're like pass I, pass? I <laughs> like, think well that's why he did this to my face because I think there was a miscommunication through the window. Cause when I was signaling like, oh, go ahead. I'm going to go around. Maybe he saw something. That's so interesting. Like for him to assume that you knew he was deaf in right. his car and you're like, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I, I don't know what the, I have no idea what that was. And I've never seen him before. I go to this place a lot. I, it's always the locals. I've never seen him before. Oh, you better hope you don't see him again. Uh, I will be there every single day. No, he day better for hope he doesn't week. see me again. Ex there you go. Right. Stand your ground. Yeah. Stand my ground.
Mariah, just, ne this is Mariah G. just next time, don't be a. <laughs> Ma'am, this is G. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. How traumatizing. What are you Sorry. gonna do now? Now I can never eat breakfast again. It's all a part of my story. You yeah. should probably post me now from now on. You shouldn't be out. Yeah, or maybe you need to learn some sign language. I know sign language. That's how I knew what he said. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did he know sign language before Heath? We yeah. both took it in high school. You took it in high school too? Oh, that's so fucking cute. I took three years of Spanish, don't know a lick. You know what I love you is? Mi bueno. Tu. Sign language. Oh, sign. <laughs> Yeah. So I love you. Two people that love each other. Yeah. Sex. So do so do they like when they want sex? Do you, you think they do this? Like I think it's more like you want. How do you say come, you want to come to my house later? You, you want to come over later, or you want to come over to my house and hang? You wanna. You wanna. You wanna go? Let's get out of here. Well, let's not get canceled by y'all just miss <laughs> signing. <laughs> we made a sign language TikTok, he, and everyone's yeah, like, "This Heath is, is spot on." Heath learned sign language because of his grandparents. The lips of an my angel, my uncle. <laughs> you met uncle. my grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> so you spoke to my grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! No, I think my sign language teacher made stuff up. <laughs> I always tell Heath that because I was signing to his uncle and like I, when I signed to Heath, he's like, that's not it. Like Ooh. my, cause we would ask our teacher, she was like old, she was like 70 years old. And we were like, what's this? And she goes, hmm. And I'm have like, you ever no, seen it's the, not. I was just about to say this, go ahead. Have you ever seen the woman who showed up to like a- um, Yes. A press conference for like oh. City Hall. Yeah, it was like important, yeah. She, she was, was the interpreter. And was freestyle in the She silent. wasn't doing anything. It wasn't anything. <laughs> and she's acting like all like- And it looked, and it looked she like rests. she wasn't doing anything. Like, you know, there's some, like some people can probably fake it really well. You could tell she it was, was bad. full of shit oh, and nobody caught it. Like during this whole thing, nobody went up and be like, you gotta go, <laughs> but then nobody right. caught it. I right. wonder if anybody was deaf in that room and was just like, what? No, well, I mean, they well, did it for the, the TV it's, broadcast yeah, for-, for But, but it, people but caught room, it. Like yeah. actual deaf people were like, like oh, not gonna wow. stop signing anything. That's terrible. Like, and they make it's so a, much money. You would have to fake your way through that for a really long time to even get, get that to position. That. You know what I mean? So that means she's been, that was not her first gig faking that she, shit. She must have, she, that must have been someone she knew like, that worked in yeah. that. that. Like there's no way, cause don't you have to like, isn't there like some sort of like interview process yeah, I'm for sure. something like yeah, that where you right? have to like prove that you can like sign audition. language? <laughs> <laughs> something, my, something. My favorite is the interpreters who do it for rap shows. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, they're like oh the, my they're like this. god! And they're dancing. They're dancing Bubble. with it too. The, those ones that go viral all the time. So I took so a, good. I took a class called Perspectives of Deafness when I was at UT, and yeah. like that's in Austin you went where they have UT. <laughs> yes, and that's where um, no, no, they have ACL. But so the class I took was like half deaf kids and half hearing kids, and ASL? so half half the, no, it was a class just talking about. Um, the state of the deaf community these days, and mm. oh, it was, it was like the that. culture, just the culture, gotcha. study, cool. studying culture of deafness, yeah. where it's at today. And so, a good portion of the class was deaf, and so we would have those deaf um, um, interpreters, interpreters in the class. But since it's in Austin, where they also host. Austin City Limits, the music festival. Yeah. When I would go to the music festivals, all of my teachers in that class or the ones who are signing, they're the cool. ones who go oh, viral. Wow. So a lot That's of, cool. now, now I think it's even become more common, but like ACL, Austin City Limits was like the first one, but like that lady with like the pink hair, who's like, yeah, yeah, who, I who saw her. Yeah. Bar, she was in my class. Oh, like, that's yeah. so cool. Oh, yeah. that's She's awesome. She's good. Yeah, yeah. So it's just, it's crazy how like now it's so big. We're like, you guys are familiar with that. When like that's with so her, cool. I was like, that's my. Oh my God, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, something to share. Nice. It's, all about, it's all about that facial expression, that attitude. Is think, there, is there um, sign language podcast? <gasps> Wait, Wait Zay. <laughs> Zay. We all pause for a second, all right? Don't do that to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, in a way, there is. It's from like a video podcast. It, yes, a video <laughs> podcast. <laughs> oh, <I> Fuck. <laughs> oh, God. You left the room. I didn't process that. I looked it up. I just looked it up. <laughs> I like, I nobody know. processed it. I no, I don't do so that to him. Nobody. I was with you, baby. We all waited a second. We all. <gasps> Oh no. <laughs> oh my God. I can't wait to look back and see how serious, how confident in my, I was just like, oh, I bet y'all haven't heard this one yet. 
people sign are language wa- podcast. The people are watching us, and it's a podcast. The thing yeah, is that I'm know, still, I know. I'm still my. No, br- I know you don't have to tell my br- me. My brain cells flee. I hear you. I'm, 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 I'm trying you. to get them back right now. Flee. They flee. They flee. When you flee something, you leave. Fled. And it's fled. Oh, oh even Mariah knows that. Say. <laughs> even Mariah? What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> you know exactly what that means. <laughs> Mariah. <Zane. laughs> you fucking. Zane's on Wordle, like, typing in flee, like, F-L. <laughs> Fleed. <laughs> Fleed Navidad. <laughs> did you guys do your Wordle today? Of yes. course I did. Perfect. That did you? A- uh, I did do it, actually. You did? Yeah. Did you oh, can it? we do Loodle today as a group? Oh, <laughs> oh. Oh, God, that game good sucks. idea. Okay, guys, if you don't it's know what too hard. before we continue, yeah, hold on. If you guys don't know what Wordle is, ninety five percent of you know what Wordle is, but the five percent that don't know, it's the flavor Wordle. of the month. <laughs> Wordle is that this shit's new. gonna be Actually, dead Matt, in a month. You explain what Wordle is. You're you're better at it. You love crossword uh, shit. You, well, you know if you aren't familiar with it, the board game Minecraft. It basically, you're given um. No, six or five. No, five. it's not mastermind. 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 What yeah, I say? Idiot. He said Minecraft. What a moron! Oh, shit. <laughs> fucking moron! You f- mastermind. Boom, tomato, f- tomato, tomato, tomato. <laughs> 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 Wait. Okay, Boom. Okay, okay. You're giving um five, six, five, six, six. five, six guesses. No, five oh, letters. sorry. Five letters. letters. Five blank letters. I'll explain. <laughs> yeah. Fine, you explain it. You explain it, Heath. Uh, it's a word game. Basically, L-E-W. it gives you a five-letter word. You have to guess what it is. And if you, you you get six tries to guess what it is. And if you get a letter right, it's going to be a green block showing that you have that letter in the right space. If it's yellow, that means that letter is in the word, but it's not in the right location. And if it's Very nice. empty, then it's just not there. It's kind of like uh, the game Mastermind. It's a great game, and they incorporate it with letters. However, words. you can only play once a day. Yeah. yeah. So and, it doesn't, and then it I love that day. because it doesn't consume consume your time like there's exactly. no addiction to it and i, I like mean, how everybody has the same word and yes. i think that's what makes it really like it makes you feel like you're a part of a family yes. <laughs> everyone who plays it we all have the same word on the same day exactly so since so many of you guys play wordle we decided we're gonna play a different game and it's called loodle, loodle. basically somebody created the same algorithm but loodle but only but call of wordle sorry <laughs> Basically, somebody used the same algorithm and coding of Wordle and then made it themed to lewd words, not safe for work words, like dicks, queef, uh, uh, and booty. Hilarious. And, 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 well, it's, well, it's going to be hilarious once we tell you what we're about to do. Since you hate that, we thought... We want to watch you play this game, and you have six tries. Oh, I don't think she. No, has, I don't think she could I, come up with. It's not that I hate it. I don't. I can't okay. come up with Let, one. Think of okay. Let's just see <laughs> <think of> one. <laughs> All right, so, let's do this, Mariah. Let's start. Oh, yeah. Let Mariah. What is a, a dirty five-letter word? What, what is it? Mariah's dirty Ooh, mind gonna come um, up with? <laughs> um. What do you got? Boops. Okay. Good. Oh, good. Good answer. Good, good answer. answer. Very good. I tried to find a vowel. This one's interesting because you're using double letters for Ooh. two. Oh, Ooh. you see, that Lammy. was expected. There's no way. All right, can I go? Yeah. Let's do penis. <laughs> oh, no. We can do penis even though because there's no in it, but we can get at least get, get in Get a some couple stuff. other letters. Well, well, hey, no, no. Well, let's. You get an E and an I out of it. I, I, I got one. Okay. Queef. Oh, good answer. Wait, but spelled Q. Devin, e. Dave, Devin, a gay F. man. What's a queef? <laughs> <laughs> What's a queef? <laughs> He's like, I. Enter. Oh, we got, oh, we got an E. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, get us. <laughs> yes, I know that. Good. <laughs> <laughs> the idiots. All right, Matt, go ahead. Okay. Um, this is so hard. This is very I hard. I was going to say boner. Yeah. yeah. B's no, not there's in no it. B's though. But at least you'd get... An, an, oh, the an, O's not in an, it. An N and an R. Uh, a vulva or... Uh, a vulva? <laughs> Let's think about all the penis parts. We have, okay, uh, uh, a dick, a penis, a cock, um, a vagina, a titty. <laughs> I, I, I can't even think of any. Is it only like body parts? What about... Confused. It's, it's just like anything... Inappropriate, yeah. Oh, it could be like a curse word. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a oh. word in the dictionary. I think just something that's like people use often. That's lewd. Whore? No. Uh, no, it's gonna be R E. Oh, this one's not as fun. Yeah, because we uh, didn't get we didn't get enough in the beginning. It's not I, fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it's E D at the end. Like, what can go after an E? Think of that. Oh. E D. Well, the E would be in the. Uh, it would be. Yellow. We just didn't start off. We we don't have but, anything. But good. sex ed. Camed. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Cummed. 
Oh, M, M, M. Camel, E-D, camel toe. E-D, like, E-D, E-D, camed, camed. No, no. came is past tense. Put enter, Com- put enter. No, uh, do camel, like camel toe, like camel. No, that's not. It's, it will get, it will accept. At least we'll get an A. Oh. Yeah. We need to get a vowel in here, just anything. You should do bitch just to see if the eyes right there. Let's just try to. Let's do oh, bitch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Just okay. get get something on the board. Wow! So, oh my gosh. Bonk. Penis? No. Whore? No. Um. Drugs. A n a l s. The e. Canal. Holes. Oh maybe. Holes. Wait. <laughs> no. Maybe it's e r at the end. What do you call somebody? Player. <laughs> <laughs> a player. <laughs> a liar. <laughs> a liar. A liar. Liar. Sinner. <laughs> a sinner. That's a good one. <laughs> do that. Skirt. Sinful. <laughs> Backstab. Wait, Devin, actually do sinner and see if it's ER at the end. It's not going to be a word. Oh. It's no, not it's a not word. a word. All right, sinus. <laughs> <laughs> We need to figure out the last vowel because right now there's only one. I think an e, a D is something past tense. No, I, vowel. Oh, we gotta figure out. So A. I, a, I would say A. It's got to be an A. So let's get a word with an A in it. So something A blank. Boned? E-R. Boned. No. 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 What about gaped? Gaped. gaped. Like a gaping asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <gasps> oh. What like a gape? gape it like a gape. <laughs> so no. when your ass when your ass's law is stretched. Oh. Ew! Oh <laughs> god! This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. We talk about BetterHelp a lot on this show, and this month we're discussing some of the stigmas around mental health. Many people think therapy is for so-called crazy people, but therapy doesn't mean something's wrong with you. It means you recognize that all humans have emotions, and we need to learn to control them, not avoid them. And we've been taught that mental health shouldn't be a part of normal life, but that's wrong too. We take care of our bodies with the gym, the doctor, and nutrition. We should also be focusing on our minds just as much. Well, good thing we have BetterHelp. If you don't know what BetterHelp is, BetterHelp is a customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp online therapy. Therapy. And BetterHelp is so great because you don't want to go to a therapist and like sit in a waiting room or show up. You got to get ready. It's a, you're, you're kind of nervous in person. Exactly. It's so much easier just to stay home, do it from the comfort of your own living room, wherever you want to be. You you don't even have to see them. They don't have to see you at all if you don't want to, which is so great that you have these options with BetterHelp. I've personally been using BetterHelp and I've noticed like my days have been much better. I feel like my anxiety has gone down and I'm able to get things done because I'm able to talk to somebody about all the problems that I'm having. Exactly. And it just feels good to get something off your chest sometimes you want to tell somebody something but you know you, you, like it's hard to tell your best friends or you know your girlfriend boyfriend whatever it is i don't want to talk to you yeah talk about to somebody my problems that's not gonna judge you <laughs> like heath exactly so don't get judged by your friends use better help this podcast is sponsored by better help and zane and heath unfiltered listeners get 10 percent off their first month at betterhelp.com slash zane and heath that's b-e-t-t-e-r-h-e-l-p dot com slash zane and heath Thank you, BetterHelp. We love you. I have a question. <sighs> Matt. Hot seat. All right, so remember how we were try- we were discussing what numbers we would be? Uh, Yeah. Okay, <laughs> if you were a candy, what would you be? Mm. I know what you we are. We already came up with we, one for you. We can't. Um, It's not our favorite candy. No. It's just like no. what we this look is yeah. like. This is a candy that kind of like just resembles you. What do you protrude? Yeah. You, Sour you, strips. You? Sour strips? <laughs> Tall, like- skinny. Kind of. <laughs> what? what I, the thing is, that I know you. Am eat I that. chocolate? I I no. think I don't think I'm chocolate. In my head, you're like for some reason a butterfinger. And you know what I said? Uh-huh. I said you're the butterscotch candy. Oh, the, the worder. <laughs> out of here, Mariah. Where is original? Like Mariah grandma's candy. I yeah. am more fun. I am a pretty you're a classic. Okay, are you but, it you is go, a classic. You go to a party and you're like, well, "What do we? What do I want? What do I don't want?" Nobody wants the butterscotch it's candy. It, no, I not, only feel that way because I think I'm a smarty. I think I'm a smarty. Uh, more like a sweet tart. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen here, Heath. Heath Bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Heath said, but I didn't think Heath was a Heath. What bar. do you think I give off? What did I say for him? No, just say it. Oh, uh, milk dud. <laughs> <laughs> when you said that, that hurt. Uh, I was thinking a Tootsie Roll, pop, like a Tootsie Roll. Yeah. Tootsie Roll. 
That's good too. You're a Tootsie Roll. Oh, oh, Tootsie Roll. That's what I see. That's what I get I from see you. see that Tootsie Roll. Oh. Exactly. Oh, that Tootsie Roll. A hot tamale. <laughs> Woo. I like Woo. that one. What about, what about me? What do I portray? I see you as like a uh, like a Kinder Egg. <laughs> oh, oh, surprise. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be happy or an attitude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. You great. never know what you're going to get. Like that's a, good. Like a Wonder Ball. <laughs> that's good. Yes. What's that's, in a Wonder yeah. Ball? <laughs> That You're is such a, a chocolate nest and candy. Yeah. They, they said they said Sour Patch Kids, but yeah. I yeah. like that uh, one better. Sour, that's sour than candy. Yeah, a candy regular. <laughs> Like you wake up sour and then you're sweet. <laughs> yeah, you're you're some sort of transformer. Yeah, uh-huh. it's something. It's a surprise. It's fun, right? Yeah, right. It's fun. Thank you. What am I? A fun dip. Oh, thank you. Because you gotta do pop rock. Because you gotta do like a. Oh, that's a good one. Close about of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Calm down. <laughs> pop rocks is good. Thank you. Uh, no, Twizzler. Twizzler. Bendy. Oh, uh, yeah. Just kinda... yeah. Twizzler, yeah, licorice Twizzler. Oh, no, no, sorry. Uh, the black licorice Twizzler. Uh, uh. Nobody likes those. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I said yeah, what I said. Yeah. Here we are. Well, it's our black hair, so like in my right, head, right. black. You know what Susie is? <laughs> Pixie stick. Yeah. The long, oh yeah, <laughs> the long the, one. The, the plastic one you gotta like yeah. pinch to get open because it's yeah. You know what someone said Todd is? Who fucking died oh, at this? A Toblerone. A Toblerone. A Toblerone. Yeah, I love it. I've never perfect. had a Toblerone. Mm. They're good. Not once has like I've seen them everywhere. Not once has like someone wanted to you know share a Toblerone a, with me. You know, there's a bear hidden in their logo. It's hidden. Mm-hmm. What? Look at. Right. You see the bear? Oh, interesting. Pretty cool, right? And Todd could be a bear at times. It makes mm-hmm. sense. It's like pe- the power of the dog for the people who know the people. Maybe who know. Jeff is this. It kind of looks like a comb. <laughs> <laughs> I want a Toblerone. Actually, no. Stop. Okay, now no, we don't. N- now this hurts. Ruin all the fun. Corinna's now like that classic chocolate. rainbow lollipop. The big one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So um, am I really a milk dud? I see Jason's like those sharks. Like <laughs> the blue and white <laughs> like, shark. Like, like, oh, my God. <laughs> like the, yes. Like the yeah. sharks. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait, who did, who did we say was a jawbreaker? Uh, what? I said Ilya. Yeah. Ilya. 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 The speckled one. Like the. The big uh-huh. one. Yes, he's a jawbreaker. That's so breaker. good. Yeah. Oh. You know what Stas is? A golden Ferrero. Ferrero Rocher? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a golden Ferrero. <laughs> Ferrari. A Ferrero I can see that. A Ferrero Rocher. Wow. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our next sponsor of this episode, HelloFresh. If you guys don't know what HelloFresh is, HelloFresh is a delivery service where you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh has fit and wholesome recipes for satisfying and nutritious meals that you can feel good about with six recipes per week to choose from, including low calorie and carb conscious options. HelloFresh offers the flexibility you need to easily customize your order online or in the app. Easily change your delivery day, food preferences, and plan size or skip a week whenever you need to. You can customize your favorite dishes with their new Hello Custom offerings by swapping out one protein or side for another, upgrading for a more luxe experience, and even adding protein to a veggie meal. That means more choices, more variety, and more meals truly tailored to you. Plus, they have quick and easy meals, including 20 minute recipes and low prep and easy cleanup options, provide an even faster route to putting food on the table. HelloFresh is 72% cheaper than a restaurant meal of the same quality, and you can save on average over $65 per month when you order HelloFresh instead of grocery shopping. That's money back directly in your pocket. I've used HelloFresh, and my all-time favorite food has been the miso sesame shrimp and bacon ramen. I love ramen. Look, I love, I eat ramen from like top restaurants, but HelloFresh feels good. The beef tenderloin and cheese fondue. Mm. That honestly sounds beautiful. I'm not going to lie. So if you want to impress your friends, love one family, it doesn't matter, or impress yourself, all you got to do is go to HelloFresh.com slash Unfiltered16 and use code Unfiltered16 for 16 free meals and three free gifts. Again, go to HelloFresh.com slash Unfiltered16 and use code Unfiltered16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. It's honestly such a good price for the quality of meals you're getting 
and you get to feel good about yourself and it's just fun to do it. It is. So that's why you should go on Unfiltered 16 and use code Unfiltered 16. That's right. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this podcast. We love you. I had to read the Quran. I couldn't do it. Try Imagine reading in Arabic. <laughs> do, you remember when I, <laughs> Zay, do, you, do you remember when I came over and I uh, visited like Hadaya and I was like so interested in the Quran? Oh and my. Then Zane, and like I, I was getting like really deep. And then Zane was like, when my dad comes over, you cannot ask any questions about the Quran. <laughs> Wait, no, why? I was no, getting, no, I was no, just was getting too curious curious you were like okay this is this is really sweet but you it's because need to my dad can be, he can be very like he tries to like convert or yes it, it, it could get to the point where he tries to convert like people. if i showed gotcha. any ounce of like interest because like I, I i'm just interested in hearing this story yeah hearing this side of like where's what's all of this based on like zane would be like once you're in like he won't shake he, it loose. he'll revolve the whole night it's like it's it's very like I get what he's doing. I understand it. You know, good for him. But like, he he will revolve the whole night around mm. that. And he's especially, passionate. He's excited to talk I know, about. But like, I know, when Matt's but when Matt's over for the night, I don't want the entire night, night of five hours to be about religion. I I want yeah. I want him to get to know Matt and Matt to get to know my dad, where he's from, and everything. I, I like it doesn't need to be about religion. That's not a correct. Point. Correct. Because, <laughs> but I wish I had the text of what you texted me before you visited my member. Oh, he was. I think we made a tweet. You made a tweet about. I made a tweet it. about yeah, it. He was going through all like the ways. So I know. Like, he texted me like he texted. Me a link is like, hey, just making sure I read this before I visit. And it was like things to do and not to do before you walk into a Muslim household. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> I'm like, it so was, no hugging of the women. Do I shake hands or how do I greet your oh, uh, your stepmother? Funny. It was, but you said something after that and it killed me and I forgot yeah. what it was. Yeah. And I, I will. I'll, I'm, I'll look it up. I need, I need to, I need to remember that. That Fucking was a good, that, we're, we were trending on YouTube that, for that video. <laughs> I know. I, I think YouTube loved the, the um, exchanging of culture. Yeah. They <laughs> loved that. We were introducing a white man to the butter chicken of it all. That's you know? right. Oh, guess what I'm doing tomorrow? What? I'm bleaching my hair. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. Tomorrow at noon. Well, mm -hmm. make sure you don't, you don't sit out in the sun for too long. And when you do Are that. Are you going platinum or something? Or you want to be bleach blonde? Uh, just like bleach blonde. Like Re how I was last time. The oh. one time I went. Remember, remember Matt Coachella Yo, three years ago? That was shocking. Matt, Matt was blonde. red with white hair. Oh, it was yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yep. I, <remember. laughs> I learned. I learned. But now um, I still kind of miss it. Um, Show it off next next week when you have. Well, I am, but I, I am going to be filming. So are you guys going to the roast tomorrow night? Um, I, I think so. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna, I would support Jason. You know, he's putting this all together. He's putting a lot of time it's and money for the roast of Bryce Hall. For, yeah, the, roast of Bryce but, Hall. I don't. Will it be out by the time this episode comes out? I don't think it'll be. But every, yet. everyone's gonna be posting there, so they're gonna uh, know about well, it. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking. Oh, you're doing it? I can't wait to see. It's gonna be fun. But it, it just laugh, laugh. Because like, oh, the, I mean, I'll howl for you. Trust me. Like, you have a good fake laugh. Well, like, watch, really Zay, fake just laugh. fake laugh right now. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's really good. Do it again. <laughs> you could be, make people like think that they're your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba, that's that is nasty. All right, I was fake laughing the entire time as we were doing that. So I was, I was sorry. It, you <laughs> if you didn't catch it, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba. <laughs> And you know, and you, I, and I, t I think I, I like to fake laugh a lot throughout the day, whether I'm filming or not, because it, it like, I think it like puts me in a better mood. It's like a placebo effect. Didn't we do body. that Wait, with, but Zane, are you really laughing when we're talking about euphoria? Like on the couch? Oh after? yes. No, Matt. Yes. Zane and Don't I laugh, make each other now. laugh. Don't overthink you make it me now. Laugh no, Matt, I, so Matt, I'm like, no, You'll when know. we, we, when we're talking about this euphoria <laughs> shit, cause we're not like talking, we're talking about scenarios of yeah. like, so we come up, we, we don't want to get too into the it. Hypothetical. We'll be, we'll be, we'll, <laughs> oh, be, we'll yeah. be here all night, but we like, we pretend, <laughs> we, pret we think about like extras <laughs> that are like part of the show, but yeah. they're not part of the main cast, but they're just like an extra here or there. They're in a couple episodes, right. but they think they're the main cast. No, I, so they'll try, no, wait, they'll no, try I to be. The video I showed you of like the extra. Oh yes, it's yes. like that, like that stuff. I would point out. So they'll have like one line in the entire season, but they'll try to gather the main cast to go over like Zendaya's house to read, but she'll like include herself in. The show. That's be funny. Like, hey, so the read tonight, we're going to Zendaya's place. What are we doing? And they're just like, yeah. <laughs> no. no. Like, I think about Zane integrating himself within the cast, like what kind of role he would take on, like. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's funny. like because when we watch the uh, the uh, what's it called Inside Euphoria, which it, is the little segment that they play after the show, and they like they. It, they film it like on a set with these huge screens and they're show- so so it's like it's a very serious show it's about like drugs and sex and like mental mental whatever but it's it's a very dark and like serious show and like the cast and crew need to be very professional on set especially with like the nude <laughs> scenes and the drug scenes because you know oh, yeah kid, like you know people are watching sensitive. yeah very sensitive and like so when they do these like and like look, when they do the enter the euphoria episodes like looking into the characters everything is like very serious and you know it's like what happens when they cut it's like, like a, it's a dark thing and you know whatever but like we're just imagining <laughs> we're imagining like someone like Liza being cast over the show and everybody so they have these shots of all oh, the, yeah. the cast like, you know the light goes in their face and they're just like doing a serious face of the shot and they come they come out and they sit down and they talk about their character and what they're going through but it just we're imagining just Liza, Liza. coming oh. out and everyone's just coming but then she comes out she's just like <laughs> I'm like doing splits of <laughs> and the fucking the the production team is just like hey yeah. Liza can not you go the back we not and she, Liza it was just funny us like no, picturing it's a funny imagining image. like Liza yeah. in the show like how <laughs> yeah it's a funny image <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, funny in I my just, head, I, I just wish that you guys like were there watching this with us because yeah. Zayn and I are. Oh, I would go if that's the way you watch it. Like, obviously, that's funny. Like, when you yeah. guys have those hypotheticals or what you're thinking, like, it's funny. They don't even watch the show. They're just funny. We don't, you know, we don't really. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're, 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 like, we're literally. We're, you're more entertaining than the show. <laughs> like, the thought of things I is I feel so like you guys more... like it so much because you have this moment and bond yeah. where you can crack jokes. And but you're there's, so, much, like, there's so, so much funny. opportunity. Yeah. There's, 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 there's every, so many Everything things. in that show is just easy for me and Matt to look at each other, pause the show, and just <laughs> and go at yeah. it for 10 minutes. It, it's really funny. In my head, what yeah, I'm picturing, I don't know like anything about the show. In my head, the only thing I can like compare it to that I'm picturing is the TikTok of the guy getting slammed up against the wall with the cop <laughs> yeah, lights. And yeah, he's like yeah. looking back like this. And it's kind of like, and he's just like making this kind of yeah, face like okay, this. That's it, cringy. This yeah. euphoria to me never feels cringy. It may be cringy from a sense of drama where like, I hate this confrontation that's happening between two characters. Yeah. Or like a character doing something to humiliate their, themselves. But never once do I think the show artistically is like, get over yourself. You yeah, know? Because uh, there are yeah. shows that are very cringy. Yeah. You're watching, you're like, oh God. Like, <clears throat> you know what they're trying to do and it's not working. Yeah. They do a really good job with this. And the actors are very, like, they're very good. And they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're big for a reason. Like, they're, they've all blown up. Then can you say like, <laughs> Zane just like would love to be like credited as this like assistant creative director <laughs> photographer. And you know in Euphoria. Like the Drake music video. You, you know in Euphoria but they, they, they but do these crazy camera angles and But they never watch the show so we can't like explain But this. we're explaining it to the people. Like they're doing these crazy camera angles and movements and Zane is like, what is... <laughs> <laughs> what if he was like the person who was doing all those and they put him in like this huge like spherical contraption <laughs> and he's like okay three <laughs> two one he <laughs> takes his job way too seriously but the casting right. are just over this guy yeah. but he needs to get his shot so they build this whole contra- it's funny because like <laughs> everybody knows rolling. one person that would be yeah. like that he's just rolling through the yeah. sun everyone's like alright watch out the fucking here he goes and they are so important <laughs> and there's like behind the scenes footage of like Zane looking at Sydney Sweeney's outfit and like it's like low enough and Zane goes let's make it. like just these slow mo behind the scenes clips of him talking to costume designer and he's like <laughs> just like just like, just like someone's just a straight pervert on set and no one's catching it but this dude is like clearly being a pervert on set or you know how hey, there's yeah let's all right and or you know how you know how like on Euphoria, like a majority of the penises are prosthetics, like they're not uh-huh. real. So that means somebody, <laughs> somebody is there, putting it on them. Somebody, no. so I'm picturing Zayn. No, someone, someone's like the penis artist who like right. does all the molds and stuff. And we're saying they're, they're saying, part. They're part of the Enter the Euphoria episode where the cast comes out and they like you know they have their moment, but. <laughs> They, they have this moment he's like, I am the man behind the prosthetics. And it's this slow motion of like just a bunch of fake dicks like flying behind him. And Zane's just like. <laughs> so just, it's like slow-mo with Venus is falling. Just. <laughs> yeah. Or, and then and they cut to you like in, in they cut to you and like, you know, the uh, 
the craft room and Zane has on like those microscopic <laughs> headsets yes. like painting like the highlight on a penis. Like a- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he, he looks up at the camera just like, oh, hi, and he goes, shing, 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 shing. <laughs> Oh, and, then, and then he's sitting there with like the actors on set. He has a uh, <laughs> like a, a, a measuring tape going. <laughs> but we should, if we should you, pick a movie where like we all watch and yeah. we do like the pausing thing and stuff because we would all that would be I don't know if that would be annoying. It'd be it'd be a ten hour movie. That'd be a fun podcast episode. <laughs> yeah, that'd be ripping fun. apart yeah. a show or a movie. That's all fun. right. Let's close this bitch right. out. Oh hi, Mark. This was fun. Oh hi, oh, Mark. hi, Mark. That's it for the podcast today. If you haven't tried Cremota coffee, it is the greatest coffee in the world. I'm not just saying that. Uh, you We're can get right the K cups. You can get the ground coffee. We've got five different flavors to choose from. If you like cinnamon, vanilla, doesn't matter. We got it. Uh, so make sure to check that out. Cremota.com. We just did a very fun Valentine's Day shoot the other yes, day. We're, We're really be excited that out to put. Out. Did it, I did I send you the pictures that I got back for yeah, that? It is jarring. It is. It's it's very shocking. So I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's something that we've never really done before. Yeah, we're really excited. We're really it. we're coming out of our comfort zone for these. Yep. Uh, twenty twenty two is our year for this baby. Valentine's Day campaign. And That's we're really right. Excited to show you. Um, so make sure to check that out. Audio comes out every single Monday. Spotify, Apple, however you listen. Video comes out every single Tuesday. Uh, YouTube.com slash Zane and Heath. And soon two to three videos Woo! a week, baby. You know what's up, and you know what it is. Casey and Gene. Casey and Gian, wow. Okay, we're getting tired. Okay. All right, we love you guys. We'll see you next week. (laughs) Goodbye.